Hello grade 12s. In this video, we are going to learn how to determine the equation of a circle where the origin is not the center of the circle. Let's have a look. Remember that a circle is a set of points which are equal distances away from a fixed point, the center of the circle. The distance from the center to any point on the circumference of the circle is the length of the radius. Let's take a look at the standard formula for circles where the center is not the origin. We can use this to determine the radius and the center of the circle. The standard equation of a circle where the origin is not the center of the circle is in brackets x minus a squared plus in brackets y minus b squared equals r squared. a represents the x coordinate of the center of the circle and B represents the Y coordinate of the center of the circle. From the standard equation, we can determine the coordinates of the center of the circle by looking at the values of A and B. It is very important to watch the signs of the values of A and B. Let's have a look at an example to show you what I mean. Determine the coordinates of the center of the circle if, in brackets, X minus 4 squared plus in brackets y plus 3 squared is equal to 18. Let's start by writing down the standard equation. In brackets x minus a squared plus in brackets y minus b squared equals r squared. If we analyze this, we see that 4 is in place of a and 3 is in place of b. But did you notice that the bracket says y plus 3? This means that the value of b is actually negative 3. Therefore, the center of the circle is 4, negative 3. Now that we found the center of the circle, let's find the radius. r squared is equal to 18. So r, the radius, will be equal to the square root of 18, which is equal to 3 square root of 2. These examples were quite simple because the equation of the circle was in its standard form. Let's have a look at what will happen if the equation of the circle is not in this standard form. Determine the coordinates of the center and the length of the radius of a circle if x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 10y plus 1 is equal to 0. To find the center and the radius of the equation, we will have to manipulate the equation to the standard form. Let's take a look at it again. The standard form is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. We need to manipulate our equation to be in this form. To do this, we will have to complete the square so that we have two perfect square trinomials, one with just x and one with just y. Let's revise the steps to complete the square. Steps for completing the square. Refer to the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Step 1. Move the c value across the equal sign. Step 2. Divide both sides by the a value. Step 3. Add half the coefficient of x squared to both sides of the equation. Step 4. Factorize and simplify the equation. Now let's apply this to our problem. x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 10y plus 1 is equal to 0. First move the constant over the equal sign and group all the terms with x's and y's together. This gives us x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 10y equals negative 1. Now we need to complete the square for x and y separately. Let's start with x. Add half the coefficient of x in brackets squared to both sides of the expression. So half of 2 in brackets squared is equal to 1 squared. We need to add this to both sides of the equation. Therefore, we have x squared plus 2x plus in brackets 1 squared plus y squared minus 10y equals to minus 1 plus in brackets 1 squared. Now let's do the same with y. Add half the coefficient of y squared to both sides of the equation. 
half of negative 10 squared equals negative 5 squared. This must be added to both sides of the equation. We now have x squared plus 2x plus in brackets 1 squared plus y squared minus 10y plus in brackets negative 5 squared equals to negative 1 plus in brackets 1 squared plus in brackets negative 5 squared. We've done step 1 and step 2 of completing the square. Now let's do step 3, factorizing. Remember, the trinomials are always perfect square trinomials, which means they have two brackets that are exactly the same. When we have factorized, we have x plus 1 in brackets squared plus y minus 5 in brackets squared equals to 25. Therefore, the coordinates of the center will be negative 1 and 5, and the length of the radius, the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. Now, let's look at how to find the equation of a circle when we know its center and the length of the radius. Determine the equation of the circle with center in brackets 2, 1, and a radius equal to 2 square root 3. Always start with the equation where the origin is not the center of the circle. In brackets, x minus a squared plus in brackets, y minus b squared equal to r squared. By substituting the given center coordinates and the value of the radius, we get x minus 2 in brackets squared plus y minus 1 in brackets squared equals 2 square root of 3 in brackets squared. The right hand side equals 12 and this is the equation of the circle. In the next question, we are not given the radius. We are only given two coordinates that lie on the circle. We will use this information to determine the radius. Let's take a look. Determine the equation of the circle with center 3 and negative 5 and passing through the point negative 1 and 1. As usual, we start this problem by writing down the standard formula. The equation of the circle is given by in brackets x minus a squared plus in brackets y minus b squared equals r squared. Substitute a and b with the center coordinates. So we have x minus 3 squared plus y plus 5 squared equal to r squared. Now we substitute in the other point that was given. So in the place of x, we will substitute negative 1, and in the place of y, we will substitute 1. Then simplify and find the value of r squared. r squared is then equal to 52. Therefore, the equation of the circle is x minus 3 squared plus y plus 5 squared equals 52. Thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned by trying to do the questions on our task video on advanced analytical geometry. You'll also be able to learn more about analytical geometry on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.